Welcome this week, and it's motivation time. Now, Gloria Adjoge Adaba, she is a professional development coach, engineer, and an environmentalist. She is the founder of Thumbs Up Youth Leadership Development Initiative. Gloria is a certified John Maxwell coach, a Toastmaster speaker, and also leadership trainer. And she has joined us today to talk about finding purpose on motivation. You are welcome once again. Thank you very did much. Did I say that we you. loved you from last week? Oh, yes, you did. I'm yes. saying it again. Yeah, Thank I you. Know, because we have to. In any case, it's good to have you here. Thank Let's you. talk about purpose, especially on a Monday. People want that, you know, little push to help them into defining exactly why they're living. Exactly. So, in your view, what is purpose to the average person? Purpose is the actual existence or the reason why something exists, or in this case, why someone exists. So that's what purpose is. And in talking about purpose, I usually like using this illustration. It's a parable of some sort, a modern day parable, yeah. and it's placed in the advent of tabs. Now, this lady barges into the kitchen in search of her tab, and she goes with her father. He was actually di uh, chopping his vegetables. Oh. And she goes, Dad, did you see my... Before she could say tab, she realized he was chopping his vegetables on her on tab. On her tab. And so what I, the two lessons I draw from that is what the great Miles Monroe said. The first thing is that... When the purpose of the thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Mm. And then secondly, if you don't know your purpose, other people will use you for their own agenda. Mm. So it's very, very important for us to know what purpose is and what our own purpose is, and then mm. make sure we are in that and fulfilling it. Yeah, but how easy, is it, how easy is it to know exactly what your purpose is? How do you find it? Is it from passion? Is it from exercising some, I don't know, nuance of life? What exactly? How? Okay, um, the thing about it, you said something about finding. That word is key. You do not find what you are not actively looking for. So you have, to be, you have to be deliberate that, okay, I actually want to know what my purpose is, and you mean it to yourself. You know, time comes in, our, in your life where you have to pause and think about some things and start to introspect, like I spoke about it last week. So you have to say, look, I want to find it. So when you come to that point, secondly, you need to connect with your spirit. You need to connect with your source because you did come from somewhere. So whatever you believe in the universe, God, you need to connect and ask, where is my purpose? I want to find my purpose. Because the beauty about purpose is it's always been there. It's, it's there before you were, you were even born. It's there. It's just waiting for you to actively look for it. And then at the end of the day, everything makes sense. Then your passion, you mentioned it, your passion. What are you passionate about? What is that thing that moves you emotionally to, and gets you to the point where you are driven? Okay, I see passion like a driver of purpose. And then what are, your, what are you naturally um, able to do? Because your purpose will always be tied with what you are naturally able to do, although you might need to turn them into skills where you need to harness them. You know, maybe you start out as a singer, as a child. You know, mm -hmm. as you continue to develop, it continues to become more and more of a skill. But it's, it's been naturally there for you, so you do it like breathing, you know. And then you may need someone to help you, like a coach, like me. You can contact and then you can they can help you mm. um, nurture nurture and then find what you it is you really are passionate about so, so there's that thing that with features. purpose finding purpose but then there's the opportunity that presents itself mm. do you also go about looking for these opportunities and in such a country like Nigeria where things are so difficult oh, how yes. do you find these opportunities the, the what you said is very key and I always had that in mind when you know, I, I listen to lots of motivational speakers, especially they are not indigenous, and you tell yourself, well, you guys are in a space yeah, that is Yeah, Mike easy. doesn't really like them, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, you are in a space where it's easy for you to find your purpose. Yeah. But if you look at the two extremes, the developed world and the developing countries mm -hmm. like ours, you find out lots of people here, are, there's a lot of frustration in the air yeah. because people are not really where they want to be we tend to kind of copy what is in, okay, I go, I see someone making zobo. I say, oh, is it not just to mix this? I can do it. Mm. And then you start doing it, but you start grumbling at it because that's not really what you are tuned to do. So you need to be connected to your individuality, like we mentioned last week. If you don't know who you are, there is no way you will know what your purpose is. And so whether you're in Nigeria or wherever you are, I believe strongly that everything will come together, make sense, when you decide that, look, I'm going to find what it is that will make me fulfilled mm. because your purpose is also tied to your fulfillment. Good that you mentioned the word fulfillment. Absolutely. My next question would have been, and still is, <laughs> is finding your purpose or exercising your mm -hmm. purpose tied to success? Does it mean that you're going to be wealthy? 
or it's just simply fulfilled? Thank I thank you so much for that question. You're welcome. <laughs> because success, that's another thing we need to define correctly, Mazino. Um, well, success, when you go to dictionary, you see it's uh, title, probably title, affiliate, uh, you know, affluence yeah, and all that. Yeah. But success, really being successful, when you look at it and you look at history and you look at what's happening in the world, is it really about affluence? Mm. Because you see people who are very, very rich and they're not really successful because exactly. they're not happy, they're exactly. not fulfilled. That fulfillment comes whether or not you have that affluence. So it's your definition of success that really matters. Success is um, making sure you're fulfilling an ideal, uh, an ideal goal. You've, you've set out that this is the goal I want to achieve, and you achieve it, okay? Mm -hmm. It's achieving your purpose. That's what I define success as. Yeah. Now, a um, little uh, personal um, uh, insight here. The way I define success is not just my happiness, but mm -hmm. the happiness of my family as well. Absolutely. So it also, it, it makes me see that the people have different little categories with which they can use to define success. Yes. Perhaps maybe uh, in business, perhaps maybe in personal life, maybe family and all of that. So could you fail at one and be fulfilled at the other and yet still be able to say that this is my purpose in life? Because you can't win them all. You can't win it all, absolutely. And that, that kind of um, mindset helps you because you don't find yourself putting yourself under so much pressure. pressure. Okay? The beauty about failure is that it's actually a building block to success. Mm. We've heard stories about Thomas Edison in his light bulb, light bulb and, and he failed so many times. He said he just found the many times not, not to, to do, do it. it. Right. So, um, like my, my coach would say, he would say, sometimes you win, sometimes, sometimes you lose. learn. Oh, nice. Sometimes you win, sometimes. So your perspective about failure actually helps to reduce the pressure and frustration also. So it's part of the, it's part of the picture. It's part of the beauty. Sometimes you see artists, they, they paint, and then they probably make mistakes, but they realize later on, actually, that, that actually mistake can be beautified. Is. Yeah. So it's your perspective about what failure is really and truly. Perspective, wow, this Absolutely. is very interesting. Yes. So purpose is what you make of it, finding it, finding the opportunities, also being prepared for it, I would guess. Absolutely, being prepared Talk for it. about preparation. Well, like we've talked about um, being the whole individual, okay? I believe strongly that is the foundation of preparedness for purpose because that gives you that... Um, strong um, stance, as it were, you, you need to know yourself. I cannot emphasize that enough because you become comfortable in your skin. You find yourself not in competition with anyone because no one is giving your purpose, it's yours. Mm. So there is no competition, there's no reason. When you see someone doing something that looks like what you do because they are, it's yeah, not just you yeah. that does one it's something like you're not the only presenter last week mike was here yeah but you true. bring <laughs> you bring your own uniqueness to it you 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 both are i am not you know as it were in competition but yeah. because he can't be you you can't be him it's not ever going to be possible so you need to be prepared in knowing you need to be prepared and that preparation is in knowing who you are know who you and are. be comfortable and confident in who wow. you are that is beautiful yes. you put these things in such beautiful ways that are very consumable i must say and we appreciate okay. that you're here every monday at thank least for so the next few weeks and yeah. we're looking forward to seeing you here again thank you thank very you much thank you so Gloria. much Ms. Hino. It's good now to i'm here. hoping that you've learned something out there today well, if you want, you can always have a rerun, <laughs> find it on YouTube, and I'm sure you're going to take something else uh, home from it. Let's now move on to our kitchen segment where we have Titi on standby here. Titi, what's happening in there, please?